Okay, today we are taking a look at the ZTE Savvy. This is a new straight talk phone um, by ZTE. Uh, it retails for $149.99. It is of uh, the CDMA variety, so uh, straight talk will activate you with either Verizon or Sprint. It does have uh, 3G speeds, so data speeds are pretty good on this phone. Now the main highlights on this one are the uh, 1 gig processor. Uh, it does come with Android 4.1 uh, Jelly Bean. So it is one of the newer Android operating systems out there. It's not the latest, but it is, it is fairly new. And uh, you do get a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. As you can see. And the screen size is a uh, four inch uh, diagonal. Now this being a ZTE, um, it's not super flashy if you've seen videos of other ZTEs or if you've looked at other ZTEs or maybe you've owned one, then you know that uh, these phones or most of these mid-level to entry level phones aren't super flashy so there's nothing extravagant about them. About them. Now the layout is fairly standard for a phone, um, for a phone like this. Uh, at the bottom you have your three button layout which is pretty typical. Uh, now they are capacitive touch and they are backlit and they're flush on the screen. Now the phone does have a, a uh, light sensor so they do uh, backlight in the dark. Um, now they're not the brightest but but they're pretty visible in the dark uh, not a huge deal there as you can see now moving on on the uh, left hand side we have the uh, charge port on the uh, bottom left on the upper left you have your volume uh, buttons now on the top you have of course your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which is the iPod type size uh, and of course you have your lock slash power button there. Now this one does not have a dedicated camera button so the right hand side is, is blank. Now as far as the design goes um, you do have a gloss black bezel uh, you know, around the screen. It is all plastic construction, including the screen. Now the back is of that rubberized type material, so it does have a velvety feel to it, which is always nice. And the battery cover comes off real easy on this phone, which might be something to watch out for. Um, and you do get a 4 gig um, SD card that comes pre-installed on the phone. Now uh, keep in mind that this is a CDMA so there is no SIM card so if you're upgrading um, you can't simply transfer the SIM and, and transfer your contacts on this one. Now the size of it, uh, I'll, I'll say it's fairly compact. Um, now as I said the screen does measure 4 inches which will measure for you. So we have uh, 4.01, so as advertised, a uh, 4 inch diagonal screen. The height on it is about 5 inches, so 4.9 or so. The width is about uh, 2.5, 2.55, and the thickness is a little bit less than half, it's uh, 0.41. So it is fairly compact. It's not the smallest phone out there, but it's not uh, super huge by any means. Now the weight on this one is 4.5 ounces, which is fairly average. So it's not super light or anything, but um, it's about average on these phones. So we have uh, 4.45 ounces. Now as I said this one comes with uh, Android 4.1 so the interface, uh, the UI on the uh, operating system is real nice. Of 
course you have uh, icons on the bottom you have your of course your phone keypad there uh, you have your contacts you have your main menu or your uh, or you get all your icons text and browse and browser of course now one thing if you do buy this phone um, and you get it out of the box one weird thing about this phone is that the um, motion sensor out of the box which is typical on most of these out of the box it, it will not adjust horizontally um, that was one of my main concerns at, at the beginning but I, f I was able to find the setting for changing that so that's on settings accessibility you need to check that for the auto rotate screen to work on on the uh, browser and on YouTube and, and and whatnot. If you don't check that, then the browser won't won't uh, or uh, auto rotate when you set it uh, horizontally. Now moving on, of course you got all your standard uh, YouTube or sorry uh, all your standard Android stuff. Uh, you have navigation. The phone does have GPS capabilities. Uh, uh, Google Maps. Let's see where is that? Uh, there we go. Google Maps, which works really nicely on this phone. Uh, do keep in mind that it does have a one gig processor, so everything is really smooth on this one. As you can see, there's no jerkiness or, or, or hesitation when you zoom in or out. As is the case with a lot of uh, entry-level phones. Of course, you have uh, Google Play, so you can download apps. Um, you will need a Google account to download apps, and uh, but Straight Talk does not limit that in any way. You can get free apps, you can get paid apps. Again, you will need a Google account for that, and of course, you'll need to give them your credit card if you want to buy apps or videos and songs and whatnot. Now, YouTube um, on this one plays really nice. I really like YouTube on this phone because it's real smooth, and the display is, or the the uh, resolution on it is real clean. Um, but that does bring me to one of the only beefs that I have with this phone, and that's that the sound quality when on speaker is not the best. You you can't tell on the video, but but it's not terribly loud right now. I have the thing cranked up as high as it goes, but the the volume isn't isn't the best. The sound quality isn't the best on this phone. But, again, the resolution is real nice on YouTube. Now, if you're a Netflix user like I am, um, then you'll be uh, happy to find out that Netflix plays very nice on this phone. Um, there's no playback issues whatsoever. The audio is in sync and the video, is, and the video playback is smooth. On some of the... Uh, older Android versions and some of the entry-level phones like this the playback was not very good but on this phone it, it works real nice um, again playback super smooth and the uh, audio is in sync with the video which was an issue with with some of these older entry-level phones so I think that that uh, about wraps it up um, again this one uh, is a CDMA phone it retails for $149.99 uh, straight talk will activate you with either Verizon or Sprint um, no issues with this phone whatsoever I like this phone for the price right now this is uh, uh, one of the least expensive one gigahertz uh, devices you can get I think there's another LG that they have, which is about the same price. Um, 
but again no issues with this phone other than the sound quality on it uh, now do keep in mind that you will need to change that auto uh, rotate setting if you buy this phone if you want your your browser to auto rotate like you'd expect